annoying days that everything goes wrong, but anyway, I've got my beer, so <laughs> at the end of the day, you don't have to worry too much. Anyway, uh, this is a tutorial that's a video version of one that's actually been posted on my blog. Uh, it's using Photoshop to do a technique uh, that I basically do most of the time in my work. I do some work for Society6. Uh, this is my Society6 uh, store. Uh, these are the pictures I'm talking about. Basically, what I'm going to zoom in on this one, see if you can see this one quickly. If you want to buy them as well, you can do. <laughs> anyway, basically what I do is I render these in pencil, and then I put them into Photoshop and color them. Now some people say, well, how can you keep the pencil effect? Yeah, and uh, color all the effect. I'm going to show you how to do it basically using uh, the same picture that's actually on the blog. Okay, so I'm going to open up Photoshop and you'll recognize instantly if you've read the blog the picture that I used. It's just a quick sketch I did of some teddy bear uh, ornaments I have, just keeping my hand in. Uh, what was it, 1990? Good oh God. Anyway, this is a pencil drawing. Now, I'm going to show you a way of, let's say for instance we've got a background there and we just put a a new layer and pick a kind of teddy bear kind of colour, a bit more yellow maybe, like that. What happens normally if you're painting is it goes, oh, it's in grayscale, hang on a sec. Let's just change it to RGB, don't flatten. So, what happens normally is you can't see the pencil. Yeah. Okay. So it wastes waste of time really unless you're a really good artist and you don't want the pencil and you just want to make it look really sexy. It's a bit of a waste of time, even if you do things like put it on multiply, it looks too dark, okay, etc. If you go down to opacity it goes too light, okay. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do this properly. Now you notice when you have a, uh, an image and it comes in, it's locked as a um, JPEG. So what you need to do is right click on this, and it says make layer from background. So you just click on that, and uh, press OK, doesn't matter what it's called. OK, and you notice it instantly becomes a layer. Now what you need to do is grab, make a new layer, and place it underneath, <coughs> and have the pencil drawing on top. OK. Now, I should say I use that colour again. The silly thing is, is, if I start painting now, nothing shows because you've got the pencil on top of the picture. Okay. But if you go back to your pencil drawing and put that on multiply, what it's going to do is convert the white into transparent. Like so. Oh, let me just. Uh, Sorry, I just had a problem with my uh, coughing. Uh, so what it does now is it actually just converts all the white you can see into a transparency, and you notice it's got some grey effects with the pencil. But, oops, painting on top of the actual picture. What I can do now is just carry on painting, like so. And you can a you can use a pencil line as a guide, but also, like I do with my Society Six ones. It's just keep building up layers. Say for instance you want to create a little bit of shade there as well. Just add shade and it doesn't affect the picture at all, which is really nice. And you can then obviously build it up the way you want. I tend to basically make three layers for each colour. One's highlights, one's uh, normal and one's shadow. If I need darker shadow for instance I uh, I will make a another layer and just do the deep shadow like so. And what you can do over time is get quite a nice effect. I'll just zoom out. If you can imagine all of that painted, okay, it looks quite effective way of doing it, and uh, you don't destroy the effect of actually having the pencil drawing. Uh, let me just show you again. See, oops, get that really bigger. You see the pencil drawing is still exactly the way it was when you brought it in because it's against a white background, okay, or a transparent background in this case, okay, which means it will translate into white when you save it as a JPEG, okay. But 
basically then you can add all the effects you want color wise using the layer effects and have your picture on multiply. That's a great idea, a quick tutorial, but I hope it helps.